to another edition of Geek Culture Unboxing. <laughs> Today we have for you Chronicle Collectibles Terror Dog from Ghostbusters. You guys remember that, the two Terror Dogs that Sigoni Weaver and Rick, Rick Moranis' character turned into in the first Ghostbusters movie? Okay, she's a, she's a dog. She's a dog. She's a dog. <laughs> so the people over at Chronicle Collectibles were awesome enough to go back and actually get the maquette used in the movie to create us a scaled collectible. Now, I don't want to say it's quarter scale, but it, it's a very nice size. It would go, uh, it would go well with your 12-inch Mattel uh, Ghostbuster figures. Oh, that yeah. would actually be really nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Wow, the front of the box is awesome. Right, the, the front of the box is awesome. Then you get, you know, you get a little store in the back. Oh, okay, okay, good. Diego said it. Okay, she's a dog. <laughs> that's right. That's what we got it for. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Side. Yeah, it's always good that that was, but they always give you that little thing on the back, like the description of it and everything. So now we have so the styrofoam insert out of the box. You see it comes with a nice certificate. It's signed by Randall William Cook, who is the original sculptor and stop motion animator for so, the character. Yeah, and basically what it says, he, you know, he approved this sculpt for for Mark. Uh, the certificate comes in a nice little plastic thing. You can put it in a, in a hard protected case if you want. You know, some collectors are, are really into protecting the COA or the certificates that come with the pieces. Make sure we don't have another uh, Prime One incident. So, one of the cool things about this edition is it comes with this unique base that is very similar to what you saw in the movie. And then again, it's signed by Randall. Oh, so this is the cool. signature. Yeah, this is the signature edition. Ooh, we got fancy. So we'll put that right there. And then you see the you can see the size of the terror dog himself. I mean, he fits in the whole box. Yeah, it's a good size dog. You got the horns. You got two set of horns. Well, this is going to be fun. He sort of fits on the lazy suit. <laughs> oh, no, remember, sheep. The sheep. Well, it could be really, <laughs> yeah. You know, that was, a, that was the thing that I regret about uh, Comic Palooza last year when Sigourney Weaver came to Houston, is that I had, you know, I had this guy, and I didn't take it. And you might, I could have had it signed by Sigourney Weaver right there. Total miss, total miss, my bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> so well, Alfred's working on the horns. I had her sign that. You would have had her sign this? If there was no signature on it. Well, no, no that stuff that still came with it. Like that. No, you does, know, that's a good does idea. yours come with that? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah, this is, uh, the, you know, that's an interesting idea, Bert. I wish that Chronicle would have considered that. Maybe they did, it was too expensive, but you could have had two packs, one signed by Randall and then one signed by Sigourney Weaver. But how much more would that have cost us? Oh, this is the same shit. Yeah, there you go. These are smaller, right? I don't know about this. So that's one set of horns. Go ahead and put on the second set of horns, and we'll see which one we like better. Or well, these going up, though, right? No. No, it's still going down, further down. Or... When did you ever see the terror dogs with, with the horns up? Oh, it is. Those are straight. Yeah, straight. So which one do you like more, the curved or the straight? I like the curved ones. You like yeah, the curved? The curved ones are cool. Yeah. All right, put on the curved. Diego likes the curved. By the way, it looks, it looks, it looks more demon-like. Yeah. Demon-like. Yeah. Demon. -like. Yeah. It's great though. It's, it's a lot of great detail on it. You know, he, he's just about 10 to 15 pounds. Not, not a big heavy piece, but definitely nice solid piece. Uh, good detail in the sculpt. You know, also look great. The claws, you've got the, uh, the wet look on the uh, gums, on the lips. As he's curled and puckered. The eyes are good. good. I like the eyes. The eyes? Yeah. Did they, did they make a... Did they cool if they did they, they, oh, yeah. Did they make a base for him? No, there, there was no base for the Terror Dog. Again, you know, this... When, they, when it first came out, they had shown this, this and I was like, Dude, are they going to make the, the base where they're standing on? Aww. But no, it was, it was for this. Did you get a good shot of his butt? <laughs> You know, he must work out. I mean, he's got some tight glutes going on back there. So it retails for about six, six fifty for the signature edition, I believe. 
there is no uh, addition size on this piece. As you notice on the box, there's no addition size, yeah. no addition size on the certificates. So uh, I'm un unfamiliar with how many pieces they make. Uh, I would recommend for a Ghostbusters fan, you gotta get two of them. You can't yeah. just have one dog, you yeah. gotta get two dogs and then put them right there on, on each side of your entertainment set. Do they sell Ghostbusters? No, this is, this is pretty much all they made. Uh, if they're gonna make any more Ghostbusters stuff, remains to be seen. It would be neat if they had Gozer, you know, the, you know, female, you know, dog. Yeah, but she would be bigger, a little bigger than quarter scale. Maybe she would have been like one third scale. But it would have been nice if they made a Gozer and maybe she came with a couple of different arms where she looks like she's petting the dog. Yeah, because yeah. she pets him in a one and the one's yeah. all like, yeah. or not, you know, maybe if they had, you know, uh, was it the door? The door she oh, the out doors? Out. Yeah, yeah the backdrop? Yeah. Now, you know who knocked that out of the park? And, you know, we'll, we'll just mention it because this is, you know, a, a non boxing for Chronicle. But Blitzway, Blitzway did the whole kit and caboodle. They did the Ghostbusters and the, the Stay Puff and the Slimer and the Backdrop. They did the whole thing and they unveiled that in uh, SDC 2016. That was amazing. But yeah, as far as a, a scale collectible of the dog from the movie, Chronicle Collectibles nailed it right on the head. Yeah, they got it. It's great. So, I mean, what do you guys what do you guys think of the price? You know, 600 about 600 Is that something you would pay for this, Diego? 600 uh, no, I, I, I'll probably just spend like 400 Four? Yeah, like, yeah, only because the thing is the amount of detail that I have over here on these figures, you know, they, they cost me like anywhere between a grand to 1500 And for this, yeah, it's it's a nice piece. It's a good good size. But the thing is, there's not that much, you know, little detail that's in there. It's a simple cast. It's a simple cast. It's a simple yeah, cast. Yeah, exactly, exactly, you know, you nailed it right there. I would say maybe 450 400 It'd be now, cool if it came with a base. It would be cool if it came with a base. Now, it's got this cool uh, autograph, which is cool, you know, to have the original sculptor and animator sign it. <coughs> if it had his autograph and <coughs> Sigourney's autograph, would you pay six for it? Oh, okay. If it had Sigourney's, yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, if, if it had two options, one that had Sigourney's autograph and the other one that had Rick Moranis' autograph, would you buy the set and would you buy each one in the village at $600? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, apparently, like, Rick doesn't come with that. No, he, 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 he's become... You know, some people would say a sheltered recluse, but, you know, he's taking care of his kids. I, I, he had some, you know, family issues, and, and so he's put his focus on taking care of his kids. And I was reading something that said that he's waiting for the right script to come back to, to acting. To come back to Strange Brew Part 2? Ah, uh, no way, dude, no way. <laughs> no way. Nice. Yes. Well, it's a green movie. No, yeah, don't, come on, don't mess it up. Everybody's messing up all our, our, our cult classics. I said part two, I didn't say No, I don't want, I don't want a part two. Honey, I, honey, I shrunk the kids. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Rick, go ahead, take care of those kids. Yeah. You know, Spaceballs 2, that's the only one I want yes, to Yes, Spaceballs yeah. 2. Space because balls we never know what happened. All we say, oh, there goes the plant. Yeah. You know, oh, shit. shit. There, there goes, goes the plant. plant. Spaceballs 2. <laughs> so, you know, you can have your, like, what's, you know, what, what's the plant that look like? I mean, yeah. What, what does it become? And yeah. quick before uh, before Mel Brooks passes on, he yeah, left there, man. He's what, in his 80s? Yeah. He's yeah. not that out of park. This so is the great thing. Chronicle Collectibles, Scale, Terror Dog, on another edition of Geek Culture Unboxing.